Salut! Como ça va? Hello everyone! How are you all? Aujourd'hui, nous allons continuer. Today, we are going to continue avec les conjugaisons des verbes, with the conjugations of the verbs. Aujourd'hui, today, nous allons faire la conjugaison des verbes de troisième groupe. We are going to do the conjugation of third group of verbs. Out of the three group of verbs, we have already done first group and second group. That is ER and IR in detail. We have also understood the irregular verbs. Okay, that do not take exactly same conjugation of their own group. We will now start with third group of verbs. That is the verbs which end in RE. And we will also cover the other irregular verbs. So now let's see how to conjugate the third group of verbs. In step 1, we will remove RE from the end of the verb. And the remaining will be radical. Okay, let's uh, understand this simultaneously with an example. Let's consider the verb entendre. Entendre means to hear. So when we remove RE from entendre, the remaining ENTEND is the radical. Now in step 2, we have to add the following endings to this radical according to the subjects. And the endings of third group are with je, s, with tu, s, with il and l, there is nothing as ending that we will put. Nu, ons, with vu, ez, with il l plural, it will be ent. So now, as we have taken the verb entendre, let's see how this verb will be conjugated. J'entends, tu entends, il entend, elle entend. Can you see there is nothing after e n t e n d that is the radical with il l there is no other ending. Nous entendons, vous entendez, ils entendent, elles entendent. You can listen here the z sound which is liaison that we have already done in our previous videos. So there are few more verbs which get conjugated according to the same conjugation as entendre. These verbs are attendre, répondre, descendre and rendre. Attendre means to wait, répondre means to answer, descendre means to get down and rendre means to give back or to return. Let's see more RE ending verbs which do not follow the exact same rule of third group of verbs. We will start with lire. Lire means to read and there is another verb which is dir which means to say. Lire and dir follow the same conjugation pattern. Let's see how they are conjugated. Je lis. Tu lis, il lit, elle lit. Nous lisons, vous lisez, il lise, elle lise. So you can see here we have removed RE and thus LI becomes the radical with je, tu and il, l. This is the radical and the endings are s, s, t, t. Now with nu, vu and il, l plural. You can see the radical has become li, s and then we have added the endings to this. Similarly, the verb will be conjugated in the same manner. So, the conjugation of the will be je di, tu di, il di, el di, nous disons, vous dites, il dis, el dis. So, if you can observe, both the verbs are same except for the subject vu. In vu, dit has been written. That means instead of s, we have written t. So you will have to remember this rule. Let's take another verb which is maître. 
Metr means to put. So let's see how this verb is conjugated and let's also see the irregularities of this verb. Je me, tu me, il me, elle me, nous matons, vous matez, il met, elle met. So let's try to observe this verb. In je and tu, you can see the radical is met and the endings are ss. With il and l, met is the radical, there is no ending. And with nu, vu and ilel, plural, that means all the plural subjects have me double t as the radical. And then we have added the endings. And there are two more verbs that are permetre and batre, which are conjugated in the same manner as metre is conjugated. Permetre means to permit and batre means to beat. Okay, let's try and understand one more verb decrire. Decreer means to describe. As per the rule, we are going to remove re from decreer and what remains is d-e-c-r-i and then we are going to add the endings. Let's see the conjugation. Je décris, tu décris, il décris, elle décris, nous décrivons, vous décrivez, il décrive, elle décrive. Let's observe the irregularities of this verb. In je, tu and il, l, that means all the singular subjects, the radical is d-e-c-r-i and then we have added the endings which are s-s-t-t. -t. But with plural subjects, the radical has changed and we have added a v. Nous décrivons, vous décrivez, il décrive, elle décrive. So D E C R I and V. This is the radical. So the verbs which get conjugated in the same pattern as décrire is conjugated are écrire, which means to write, récrire, which means to rewrite, prescrire, which means to prescribe. All right. The next verb that we are going to cover is prendre. Let's see how this verb is conjugated. Je prends, tu prends, il prend, elle prend, nous prenons, vous prenez, il prend, elle prend. So friends, you can see here with je, tu and il, elle, the radical is P-R-E-N-D and the endings are S with je, S with tu and nothing with il, elle, with Plural subjects, that is nu, vu and il, el, the radical has changed to p-r-e-n. The d has gone away. So in nu and vu, the radical is p-r-e-n and ending is o-n-s. In vu, again, radical is p-r-e-n and ending is e-z. There is another irregularity with il, el, plural. The n in the end of the radical has got doubled. P-R-E double N has become the radical and E-N-T is the ending. And the verbs which get conjugated as prendre are apprendre which means to learn, comprendre which means to understand, rendre which means to take again and surprendre which means to surprise. Alright, next verb that we are going to cover is connaître. Connaître means to know. Let's see the conjugation. Je connais, tu connais, il connaît, elle connaît, nous connaissons, vous connaissez, ils connaissent, elle connaissent. Now let's try to see the conjugation, how it has got conjugated. In je, tu and il, elle, the radical is c o -N -N a i and the endings are s, s and t. Alright. In nu, vu and il, el plural, s has got doubled. Okay. So now 
radical is same c o w n a i but the endings are double s o n s double s e z and double s e n t so i hope you are understanding the rules of the conjugation and the verbs which get conjugated according to konetr are aparetr which means to appear disparetr which means to disappear paretr which means to seem rukonetr means to recognize all right next verb that we are going to cover is boar boar means to drink and let's see how the verb is conjugated je bois tu bois il boit elle boit nous buvons vous buvez il boit elle boit now let's see how this verb has been conjugated with je tu and il elle the radical is b o i and the endings are s s and t but with nu and vu the radical has changed to b u v and the endings are o n s with nu and e z with vu and with il elle plural the radical has again got changed and now it has become b o i v and the ending is e n t the next verb that we are going to see is fair fair means to do or to make and fair is a very very common verb that we use in french let's observe the conjugation je fais tu fais il fait elle fait nous faisons vous faites ils font elles font in je tu il elle and in nu and vu also the radical is same f a i but the ending in je is s tu is s il elle is t in nu s has been added to radical in vu t has been added to a radical and the ending has changed this time from ez to es generally with vu we have ending as ez but here it is es and il elle font font has got completely changed so guys you have to learn this verb by heart if you face any problem do write to me in comment section we are going to cover more verbs more grammar topics in our coming videos till then prane swa de vu take care of yourself au revoir bye bye a bientot see you soon